did is I added some thickener to this one and now it's a really nice consistency it's gonna give us nice vertical hang um, so you guys get an idea how we would shoot this we already put one light coat on it already and again like I said I'm getting ready to shoot the second coat I'm gonna hand the camera over to Eddie and I'll kind of walk you guys through the process of how I would shoot one of these entertainment centers okay this is the first time I've ever done it live so uh, bear with me. I'm gonna kind of try to talk my way through it, but at the same time I have to go a little bit fast so that we keep our line wet the whole time so here I'm gonna hand this over to Ed and We'll go from here There you go Ed So today as you guys know I like the cool flow mask before anybody asks me, because they are, what's the tape for? It's just to know that mine and Eddie's mask, whose is whose? Flip around, Eddie. We wear the same mask. <laughs> so it just makes it easy for us to know whose is whose mask. That's the only reason the tape's on there. No other reason than that. So now you guys know. I've already done a spray out system with my, with my, my rig. Uh, we might be on flow. Let me check our, make sure we're feeling good here. The boom coat, yeah. Over here. We're using it at one point. Yeah. Okay, so no, 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 here. Oh, yeah, okay. We had to power it off to blow up the fan. So let's do this again. We're not going to get the pole. We're going to cycle it again through. Make sure it turns one and good. You see how the paint's hanging on the side? That's what the thickener does. You can see it's not running straight down. Now we're cycling real good. If I did that with, if I did that normally with the coating by itself, it'd be a lot less viscous. So this helps us a lot to keep up the the vertical hang of the of the, of the material. Got our air scrubber in here, see? I'll blow it, push it right into it, and it's coming out the other side. Everything you know when you got something on it. I'm just wiping off on my shorts. No reason to use a rag or anything. I mean, this just seems like it's the best way to do it. Put it in a little bit. So, I'm going to spray out my flats first so they're wet. That's going to eliminate, eliminate the overspray that wants to fall because the top's wet. We're not going to have any problems. I like the 
the cross on the Vader panel. Notice that I'm not flicking my hand up. I try to keep it as, as square as I can when I'm shooting. can wet this, that top shelf a little bit more, okay? Take my outside line on this one here, bring it across the top, crown molding, okay? My top's already hit, but I'm going to hit it one more, okay? Then my side, okay? Go straight across. Back here, side. Put them in. Okay? Hit our facial. There we go. And then hit this top. Side. Thank you. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna walk you through so you guys can see it and the wet line. You can see how nice that looks. Hit the steer right there today. You guys see that? See the wet line up there? Put it up there ready? Go at that side over there. Go all the way at the end so they can see down the line. So that's what it looks like guys. And if you look around in the room, there's hardly no overspray dust. Don't stink like paint, it's not all clouded out. When you have the proper tools, you got a couple air movers over there pulling it out. You got your dust extractor over here and uh, your, uh, excuse me, not dust extractor, you got your head filter. I mean, all these things make it nice, okay? I'm gonna recap real quick. Today we're running the T5. This is Renner's coating, their Y005 coating. And with the Tri-Tech airless. This is a 308. That's a 308. So, just kinda wanted to show you guys what it looks like to spray a one on site complete. It's a small enough unit that it wasn't gonna take a real long time. Uh, we started in the morning, sanded, Filled, back primed, filled, sanded, and two coats of paint, and it's done. I won't put any fans on it right now. I'll let it set up uh, for about maybe uh, 20 minutes or so, and then we'll bring in some small little box fans. I got a couple little small ones, like that little white one there, and that'll help to kick it off dry. Uh, it's about 85 degrees out today, so it's hot as heck. We're sweating like uh, we're sweating like dogs over here. But again, I'm gonna save this one, guys. You guys can go back through, and you guys can watch it. Hopefully, my technique helps you guys out. But you can see it now. It's just starting to it's just starting to flow out. And the nice thing about being able to put a heavy coat on like this and not have any runs is even when it's even when it's sprayed vertical like this it, it gives it time to level out it gives the coating time to level out uh you got to put a lot of coating on this is i'm going to say this is probably in the five and a half maybe four to five wet mills it's pretty thick but this is what gives you that butter finish at the same time guys so monday getting after it Again, we got the X powers over here in the corner pulling all the air out. We have the X power here. This is the air scrubber. This is cleaning the air, keeping the dust to a minimum. I just have it on low because I don't want to disturb the air. And we're just going to let it do its thing. We're just going to let it dry and set up. And this is what we try to do, guys. So.